Hey guys, it is Rachel Feldman. What is up? All right, so anyway, I just got totally inspired to shoot this video. I was like, that's it. I've got to talk to my people. So what am I going to talk about today? I am looking down because I have all this stuff. What is this stuff? Well, let me just tell you a little story about a girl who always ate fast. Can you guess who it is? Yep. All right. You guessed it. It is me. So yes, my whole life, I've always ate fast. My mom would say, slow down, slow down, but I didn't feel like it. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to eat. This tastes so good, and I'm going to move on to the next thing. Well, that's not the greatest when you want to actually assimilate and digest your food. Because remember, digestion starts in your mouth. You start to chew and the saliva and everything moves around and it tells your stomach, all right, we've got to start moving and we're soon going to be digesting. Actually, your saliva starts to break down the food and of course, your teeth. One of the best lines I've ever read is that your stomach does not have teeth. Did everyone hear me? Because I'm going to say it one more time. Your stomach does not have teeth. So you have to think of pureeing your food in your mouth with these, your teeth. But here's some few tricks that I have because you are speaking to, oh my God, a family of fast eaters. Um, I'm always jealous of people who can take it really slow while they're eating, but that's not me. So I'm going to talk to you about some of my really inexpensive ways. Doo -doo. Look at this chopsticks. Cheap, cheap, and such a great way to slow down. You're going to be more conscious of the food that you put into your mouth. You're going to focus more on the whole ritual of eating and putting down those chopsticks, and they are cheap. I mean, come on. We see chopsticks everywhere, and if you cannot find them in your local grocery store or even um, clean them off when you've had sushi or Chinese or whatever, then you can go and buy them. Now, these are not as cheap, but fun. These are one of my many sets of chopsticks, but I love them. They're red. They have little um, colors on them, and it's just, they're fun. Um, and so that is one of my favorite tricks to just eat slow, especially because, come on, I'm sure you're like me. I'm working, I'm eating, I don't even know what's going in my mouth. And anyway, so I think you get the whole picture. I'm gonna show you also another great way. Here's a fun spoon. Also, um, I'm sure you can buy it like a Chinese or, or, or an Asian store or Chinatown if you have one, but it's just fun. Sometimes when you change up the silverware that you use, all of a sudden it makes you more conscious. Another idea, little baby spoons. Baby spoons are awesome um, because, as I said, look, how much can you actually get into that little spoon? Well, a mouthful, enough for you to digest. All right, so then I'm going to look. I'm going to show you this. This is a big fork, and this is a little fork. I always eat with a little fork. Look, I'm going to show you the difference. Big fork. Oh my God, little fork, much easier. And you're not going to eat as much. Another great way to even slow down is eat with a spoon, you know? And no, you may be thinking, how am I going to eat a salad with a spoon? I'm not saying you got to eat everything with a spoon. I'm saying get creative. If you get creative, all of a sudden, you're going to eat slower. So that is my slow down tips for the day. And if you are having problems kind of changing that whole lifestyle and, and you're just moving slow and you're moving fast, I mean, and you don't even know how to slow down, give me a call. I specialize in digestive wellness, but look, we all need coaching. And that's why I love being a health coach. So you can find me at www.rachelswellness.com. You can always find me on Facebook, 
And again, remember, your stomach does not have teeth. Slow down, get a pair of chopsticks, have some fun, and I will talk to you soon.